एवरीवन वेलकम टू अवर चैनल नॉलेज ऑफ फ्रेंड्स सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल एंड क्लिक द बेल आइकन फॉर द लेटेस्ट अपडेट टुडे वी गोना स्टार्ट विद द क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड क्लास दैट इज योर क्लास 145 एंड एज यू नो दैट वी हैड डन अ योर 144 क्लासेस इन द लास्ट सेशंस एंड वी और वी हैड डन योर लास्ट टॉपिक दैट वी हैड डन इज योर पार्टनरशिप एंड इन द लास्ट क्लासेस वी हैड डन योर इन अर्थमेटिकल एबिलिटी वी आर ऑन अवर 14th टॉपिक दैट इज योर चेन रूल चेन रूल के बेसिक्स जो भी थे वो मैंने आपको ऑलरेडी लास्ट क्लासेस में क्लियर किए हैं इफ़ यू हैड नॉट विजिटेड दैट यू कैन जस्ट गो अहेड यू विल फाइंड आउट द डिटेल अबाउट इट एंड इन द टर्म्स ऑफ चेन रूल इफ़ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट वी हैड डन योर डायरेक्ट प्रपोर्शन एंड इन डायरेक्ट प्रपोर्शन जिसमें से डायरेक्ट प्रपोर्शन टाइप के कौन सी टाइप के क्वेश्चन होते हैं वो भी डील किया है एज वेल एज वी हैड डन फॉर द इन डायरेक्ट एंड एज वेल एज वी हैड डन द मेक्स एज वेल फॉर द डायरेक्ट एंड द इन डायरेक्ट प्रपोर्शन है हम सो टूडे वी गो ना स्टार्ट विद दिस Uh, and uh, those questions that are been asked in the competition paper. So before starting with this, it's a huge request to all the viewers to please go ahead with like, share, and subscribe, so that many and maximum people can get the information at once. And even though you can also enjoy the video as well. Today we will discuss your question. That is the question nine. We had done your eight question in the last classes. So here we go. And before starting with this, it's a huge request to all the viewers to please go ahead with like, share, and subscribe, so that many and maximum people can get the information at once, and whether you can also enjoy the video as well. So here we go. So here we go with the ninth question, and that the ninth question we have here as follows: If the cost of x meters of wire is d rupees, then what is the cost of the y meters of wire? At the same rate that you have to answer, and this has been asked in MBA examination paper. So we go for the same, and for the MBA examination paper, and that is of course been important one. So the options for the same is rupees x y upon d. B option is rupees x d. C option is rupees y d, and the D option is rupees y d upon x. So let's find it out. Ninth question of the session. If the cost of x meter of wire is d rupees, then what is the cost of Y meter of wire at the same rate. MBA examination paper. Now, as I told you, and that the options as I told you as well. So. Which is being your rupees x y upon d, and rupees x d, rupees y d, and rupees y d upon x as well. So here we go. So for the same that we have to talk about it, you have to go ahead with the question in the detail, and then you have to answer it out accordingly. What the question is being demanding. So here we go for the same. So as I told you many times, and when you are going to solve the questions, you have to answer it out. Uh, and before uh, seeing my solution, you have to answer by your own, so that it you you be able to know that are you able to solve all these type of questions or not. So we go for the solution. So here the cost of x meter. So cost of x meter rupees d, where cost of one meter is rupees d by d upon x. So cost of y meter equals to rupees. D upon x into y, which is equal to rupees 
y d upon x. So here we go for the same. Let's go for the next question that is your the fourth and uh, tenth question of the session. And the other question we have as follows, which is if the price of six toys is rupees two sixty four point thirty seven, what will be the approximate price of five toys? This has also been asked in the bank to your question paper. The option for the same is rupees one forty, rupees hundred, rupees two hundred, rupees two twenty, rupees two forty. So we go for the same, and let's find it out for the solution here. So here we go. If the price of six toys is rupees two sixty four point thirty seven, what will be the approximate price of five toys this has been asked in bank view that has been important one the option for the same as i told you rupees 140 rupees 100 rupees 200 rupees 220 rupees 240 that is what we have to discuss here so here we go for the same so uh, while solving these type of a question so let the required price be rupees x let the required price be rupees x then according to that less twice less cost it means that is your direct proportional so 6 ratio 5 264.37 ratio x it will give you 6x Five into two sixty four point thirty seven, where x equals to five into two sixty four point thirty seven whole upon six. That is further equals to x equals to two twenty point three hundred eight. So approximate. Price of five toys equals to rupees two twenty. Now we go for the next, and that is we have to talk about it, which has been another one, and the another important question that has been eleventh question of the session. So the question we have: the price of three fifty seven mangoes is rupees. One thousand five hundred seventeen point twenty-five. What will be the approximate price of nine dozen uh, of such mangoes that you have to answer? So the options we have is rupees th three thousand, rupees three thousand five hundred, rupees four thousand, rupees two thousand five hundred. So here we go for the same. That is your eleventh question of the session. The price of three fifty seven mangoes is rupees one thousand five hundred seventeen point twenty five. What will be the 
approximate price of nine dozens of such mangoes. Rupees three thousand, rupees three thousand five hundred, rupees four thousand, and rupees two thousand five hundred. So here we go for the same, and we'll find it out as well. So with the same, let the required price be rupees X. Then more mangoes, more price, which is comes under direct proportion. So three fifty seven ratio, forty nine into twelve. Which is one thousand five hundred seventeen point twenty five ratio X three fifty seven X goes to forty nine into twelve and to one thousand five hundred seventeen point twenty five, which is X equals to forty nine into twelve into one thousand five hundred seventeen point twenty five upon three fifty seven so x equals to two thousand four ninety nine hence the approximate price of rupees that we get hence the Approximate price is rupees two thousand five hundred. Now we go for the next, and that is being another important question, which is your eighth question of the session. The question is: If a quarter kg of potatoes cost rupees sixty paisa, how many paise will two hundred gram cost? Options we have: forty eight paise. Fifty-four paise, fifty-six paise, and seventy-two paise. This has been asked in CBI examination paper, which is also a very important one. So let's go for the same. If a quarter kg of potato cost sixty paise. How many paise will two hundred gram cost? This has been asked in CBI examination paper. So here we go for the same that we have to solve as well. So let the required cost be x paise. Here, less weight, less cost. Comes under direct proportion, so two fifty ratio twenty two hundred sixty ratio x. So it will be comes under two fifty into x equals to two hundred into sixty, which is further x equals to two hundred into sixty upon Two fifty. 
so zero been cancelled by zero five four is twenty five five is twenty five and five ones are five five ones are five and five twos are ten so it will be twelve fours are that is your forty eight so x equals to forty eight now we go for the next question that is been the thirteenth question of the session and the question for the same here is if 11.25 meter of the uniform iron rod weighs 42.75 kg what will be the weight of 6 meter of the same rod option is 22.8 kg 25.6 kg 28 kg 26.5 kg so we have to answer accordingly and let's go for the same that is in the 13th question of the session so here we go so we go for 13th question if 11.25 meter of a uniform iron rod weigh 42.75 kg what will be the weight of 6 meter of the same rod the options as I told you which is 22.8 kilogram and kg 25.6 28 kg and 26.5 kg so here we go for the solution and that will find it out as well so let the required weight be x kg then less length less length less weight which is your direct proportion so 11 point 25 ratio 6 42.75 ratio x it will be 11.25 into x equals to 6 into 42.75 for that x equals to 200 uh, that is your x equals to 6 into 42.75 whole upon 11.25 for the x equal to 22.8 so that is your answer with the x equals to 22.8 and that will be the right answer for this question as well now we go for the next which we'll discuss about it that is the 14th question of the session so the question we have on a scale of a map 0.6 centimeter represents 6.6 .6 kilometer if the distance between the points on the map is 80.5 meter centimeter then the actual distance between these points is that you have to answer which is 9 kilometer 22.5 kilometer 190.75 kilometer and 885.5 kilometer so you have to answer on the same we'll go for it on a scale of map 0.6 centimeter represent 
6.6 km if the distance between the points on the map is 80.5 cm the actual distance between these point is let's answer it out let the actual distance be x kilometer then more distance on the map more is the actual distance which is comes under the direct proportion so 0.6 80.5 6.6 6 it show x it will be 0.6x 80.5 into 6.6 so where x equals to 80.5 into 6.6 upon 0.6 that will give you x equals to 885.5 that will get as an answer here now we find out for the next questions there are many more questions that we have to deal with and uh, that is the another question we talk here and that is your the for 15th question of the session and that the question we have an industrial loom weaves a 0.128 meter of cloth every second approximately how many seconds will it take to loom to leave uh, weave uh, 25 meter of cloth this has been asked in mba examination paper and that is also being the important one here the option for the same is 178 195 204 and 488 so let's find it out and that has been the important one so 15th question after session let's go for the same So 15 question is an industrial loom weaves 0.128 meter of cloth every second. Approximately how many seconds will it take for the loom for the loom? to weave 25 meter of cloth
the options for the same here 178, 195, 200, 488. This has been asked in MBA examination paper. So let's find it out the solution here. So here we go. Let the requ uh, required time be x second. then more meters more time that comes under the direct proportional so 0.128 ratio 25 one ratio eight x it will give you zero point one twenty eight into x equals to twenty five into one x equals to twenty five upon zero point one twenty eight just twenty five into we'll decim remove the decimal here we will increase the zero above in the numerator 128 and further it will be this equals to 195.31 so required time equals to 195 second approx okay so that is what we had find it out here and uh, there is many more questions that we have to deal here which has been another important question so here we gonna end up with this and we'll discuss the rest of the question in the next coming class and uh, which is also been important one and this has also been the important one because this has also been asked in your MBA examination paper which is uh, important here and on the same way uh, other than this quantitative aptitude we talk about it so yes we had done the chemistry part 2 for class 11 and uh, we had done your chemistry part 1 for class 11 in the next uh, coming classes we had last classes we had done and in physics part 11 uh, that is your class 11 part 1 we are dealing here we will be surely uh, ending it up soon we are dealing with uh, computer based numerical and statistical technique, English vocabulary. Uh, we had done your reasoning where we had continued with that uh, verbal reasoning and the non verbal reasoning, which is also important for the competition. If you had not visited, it's a huge request. You can go ahead and find out each and every video there as well. And in terms of quantitative aptitude, yes, quantitative aptitude has also been divided into two sections that is your uh, the arithmetical ability and the first part which is your arithmetical ability and the second is your data interpretation in arithmetical ability we had started with where we had completed the 13 topic and we had started with the 14 topic there are many topics that you had to cover in the first part and as well as for the second part as well coming towards arithmetical ability where we had completed your numbers SCF and LCF of numbers decimal fraction simplification square roots and cube roots averages problems on numbers problems on ages such and emphasis percentage profit and loss ratio and proportion partnership and that is being the 14th topic that is a chain rule in this after completing this we will discuss about time and work pipeline system time and distance problems on train boards and streams allegations or mixture simple interest compound interest logarithm area volume and surface area races and games of skills calendar clocks stocks and shares permutations and combination then we'll discuss about probability to discount bankers discount height and distance and open out series as well coming to our section 2 which is your data interpretation where we have to cover up the tabulations bar graphs pie charts and line graph 
so here we gonna end up with and thank you hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please give a thumbs up and give a suggestion on the comment box thank you